Okay, this is ready. Let's see. I start from the front. You can do it any other way from the back, but I'll show you this method. Into the first hole and the loose tip I'm going to close up on top of the work or just behind the work like that so that it disappears. So the lace that comes from the back I leave two holes open goes into the third hole. Okay. Then to the front I leave when I go to the left I leave one hole open. When I go to the right hand side I leave two holes open. Okay. this guy out of the way so that he gets closed up there at the back like that and he doesn't play with all right so what I've done I've come out of that hole gone into that hole come out the back into hole number four come out the back into hole number two and that's where I'm coming out now and now I'm going to have to start doing a weave it's the first time after you come out of the back of hole number two that you have to start weaving now with this this lace that we're working with now is going to come and lie next to this one so it has to do the opposite to this one to cause the under one over one under one over one weave pattern so this one went over that strand so now the one I'm working with has to go under that strand so I bring it underneath that one and it goes into the next open hole coming out of that hole it will have to come across and into hole number three this time so this one went over that strand under that strand so I've got to come over that one under this one and into the hole so effectively as I come out the hole in the back I bring it to the front and under that one and then into the hole, hole number three that's where that goes in and that has started the whole procedure going very well so because now I'll carry on in the same manner um, These two are the only ones that's that buried one from the start, so I'm not going to worry about much about that one there. Sorry, that one there. I'm really only going to worry about these two. That one goes over it, so I must go under it. There.
over that one and into the next hole. So in front I'll always go one hole further as I move to the right hand side. Coming to the left I'll go over one and under the next one and into the hole. go and that's the established pattern so again from the back this is gonna lie next to it the first thing I do is under that one right there over this one and into the hole. So there is the basic start of the Mexican round braid.